Oh, she's a bit cold this morning. Hi guys, how you going? So um, I'm here to talk to you about asparagus today. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about asparagus is because now is the asparagus season. Actually the asparagus season started right at the start of spring, end of winter. That's when we got our first crop here anyway. This is a really established um, asparagus bed. It's been here for about 10 years. So this bed is about 1200 by one meter and it produces more than enough asparagus for us and we trade this within our community as well. It's a really good thing to trade if you're into trading in your community because it's so abundant. The asparagus just keeps from producing for you know 10 to 12 weeks depending on how established it is. So there's three ways you can go about establishing a uh, asparagus bed. Seed, seedlings or crowns. Now, seed, it's quite a long time until you get your harvest. Seedlings, you still have to wait three to four years. So crowns is really the way to go. So with the crowns, there's more choice of variety. With seed and seedlings, it's, it's a little bit trickier. Now, asparagus is just one of the best things to grow in the home garden. Because once you plant it, you know, if you start from crowns, you know, after a couple of years, you can get your first harvest. Uh, and then the plant can last 20 to 30 years, these crowns, and they multiply over time. So when it comes to feeding your asparagus, we like to use a sugar cane mulch or a peat straw mulch. Peat straw is good because it breaks down and gives nitrogen or adds nitrogen to the soil. We also feed it with a, a top layer of compost once a year thing we like to do once every year or two is we we like to gather up some seaweed from the beach from our local beach that's washed up on shore and we like to put a layer of that around the asparagus now those three methods of um, putting down compost sugarcane and seaweed help to suppress weeds you really want to keep the weeds suppressed in your asparagus bed they do not like any competition these methods add a lot of nutrients and minerals to the soil and that in turn makes extremely healthy asparagus. When it comes to harvesting asparagus, we like to harvest one that's no thinner than a pencil or a normal size pen. And the reason for that is, that's the plant actually again telling us that it doesn't have quite enough energy in that crown. It could be a young crown that's self-seeded in this area because we do let this asparagus, you know, run to seed. Um, and so we just leave that crown alone or that asparagus spear alone. And that turns into this guy here. It pops up and puts out its fronds and it's starting to gather energy for the next season. We tend to harvest our asparagus for about eight to ten weeks. Some people say that you should harvest it until the longest day, but we tend to not harvest for that long a period. We also like to just observe the asparagus, and if we notice the asparagus is starting backing off and not producing as many spears, then we will stop harvesting. 
Uh, but that's the plant telling us that that's enough. It's, it's done. It needs to go to seed like this one's doing here. Rightio, so you can see here, we've got lots of lovely asparagus. So one of the things we like to do is we want to harvest the asparagus when it's about 18 centimeters or 180 millimeters long. Now this is just a rule of thumb. If it's a bit longer, it's okay. If it's a bit shorter, it's fine. Um, so you can see there's multiple ones, all these ones, one, two, three, four, five. And we can even harvest these ones as well because these are actually almost 300 millimeters long. So what we like to do when we harvest is we like to come in and cut it just below the soil line. So we bring our knife, come in here and we cut just below the soil line like so. There you go. Beautiful, lovely asparagus. This is a big one too. And then we just cover up where we cut. This helps to protect the crown. Um, and if you leave them uncovered, we find that you get black fly and little flies hanging around the crown. That's not a good thing. So we just cover them up like that. Right, what I'll do now, I'll harvest the rest of this asparagus we have here. We'll take it inside and I'll show you one of my favorite ways to cook it up. You can eat it fresh, like so. It's extremely tasty fresh. One of my favorite ways to eat it. But if you want to make it go a bit further and put some eggs from our chickens here, a bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of garlic or onion from the garden, I'll grab that too. We'll go inside, show you one of my favorite ways to cook it. Let's go. With our asparagus, a bit of Parmesan cheese, and it'll be buon appetito. All right, so we're inside. Let's get a cooking. So we've got our onions from the garden. I've already pre-chopped some asparagus here. Chop up this onion. We're only gonna use the bottom part here. melt this butter. Let's put about a teaspoon and a half of butter and three or four asparagus spears. Get this asparagus straight in there and the onion too. You don't need to cook the asparagus much. We just want to make it a a little bit softer. A little bit of salt, good whack of pepper, alright so we've got a bit of a sizzle now. Let's cook it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Alright, put a little shake of chili flakes if you like chili. We love chili, so a little bit of chili flakes in the pan. Get these eggs in. Just pop the eggs a little bit. So they mix around the pan with all the asparagus, sort of mix it in a little. Not too much. Once the eggs have started to cook like that, that's when we get a bit of parmesan cheese. And you just want to sprinkle that over, over the top lightly. The asparagus tops. And I just sit them like so. Now I like it like this, but if you want to cook the top of the eggs, which is how we like it sometimes, you simply just pop on a lid 
and that will sort of steam the top of the eggs over. So you want to let that cook for three or four minutes because that cheese is melting, the eggs are cooking, and I'll leave the lid on. Um, just because I know some people don't like runny eggs. I love them like that. Alright, so that's enough now. We'll turn it off, leave it there for a couple minutes to cool down, and then we'll serve them up. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Looks lovely. You can see it's cooked the top of the eggs down. That's going to be amazing. Let's serve it up. Alright, we've got our official taster slash judge here. Let's see what they think of it. Here you go. Thank you. A little bit of parsley. No. Bon appetito. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yum. It smells so good. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Make sure you save my half. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay. Alright, so there you have it from the official judge. It's perfecto. Hope that inspires some people to grow uh, some asparagus at home or to use the asparagus that they're growing. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, we've got our guest test. Alright. <laughs> That's going to go into bloopers. Alright, we've got our. Um, Official, no, official judge? What? <laughs> what are we going to call you? Taster. Man, I need a big knife. Where's all the knives for? Where's all the good knife? That'll be right. Woo! Here's one.